Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? No, thank you. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, Say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. But that doesn't mean I don't fight it and its consequences. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your life, Dr. Reed. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions especially when it's a woman. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. 